the week started with Easter, didn't it, last, last weekend? And last weekend I was, uh, I was at my house and I noticed on the main road this guy walking down, carrying a big wooden cross over his shoulder. Who on earth does he think he is? <laughs> Christ alive. Ridiculous. Anyway, that, wasn't, that was over a week ago, Easter, but I read, read recently in the news over the last few days a, uh, the European Court of Human Rights decided that the conviction of a German guy for incest is not a breach of his human rights. So the ban on incest in Germany is, is fine, it's still fine. And in other countries, that's, that's good to know, isn't it? Apparently what this guy happened with this guy here, he met his sister for the first time when he was 24. They started a sexual relationship. Yeah, now he's being convicted of incest, and she hasn't, because apparently she's got a personality disorder. Boy, he knows how to pick them. <laughs> but yeah, but it's, you know, it's a, nature is a cruel mistress if that has been bestowed upon him as his type. You know, sibling with personality disorder. But yeah, um, yeah it's an interesting thing, incest. It's, 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 it's very interesting, but yeah, it's, it's pretty, much, pretty much illegal in most, most countries, and, uh, including here and Germany, as this guy was, this guy was German. And the uh, thing is, Germany gave us Christmas, yeah. a time of year when families huddle together for a few days during the coldest, coldest part of the year. And, and it seems a shame that both in Germany and here we have a ban on incest, because it means we can't really celebrate Christmas to its full potential, can we? You know, I mean, Scrabble's alright, but that's all I'm saying. <laughs>